In this example, we need to solve the equation, the square root of x plus 24 plus the square root of x equals 12. What type of equation do I have here? Well, I have one square root here, and I also have another square root. So this is a radical equation containing two square roots. And let's look at the steps for solving these types of equations. Step one says you must isolate one of the square roots. Then you're going to square both sides of the equation in order to remove the isolated radical. If this equation still contains a radical, then you have to repeat steps one and two. Finally, when you have an equation that has no square roots in it, you simplify and solve the resulting equation. But please don't forget, you must check for extraneous solutions. So looking at our equation up here, I have to isolate one of the square roots. Does it matter which one? No, I think I'm going to isolate the square root of x plus 24, which means I'm going to have to subtract the square root of x from both sides of the equation. So I'm going to get the square root of x plus 24 equals 12 minus the square root of x. So I've isolated one of my square roots, and now I need to square both sides of the equation. So I'm going to square the left-hand side, and notice I'm squaring the right-hand side. This is a binomial. I can't square each term individually. I have to take the quantity 12 minus the square root of x and square that. So on the left-hand side, what do I get when you square a square root? You just get the radicand. So I'm just going to get left with x plus 24 equals. There's several different ways of doing this, and I'm just going to go back to the tried and true method of foiling it out. If you can do this in your head, great, but some students get a little confused when my binomials contain radicals. So I'm going to get x plus 24 equals, following it out, first terms, 12 times 12 is 144. 12 times negative the square root of x is negative 12 the square root of x. Inner 12 times the negative square root of x is negative 12 times the square root of x. Last term, negative square root of x times negative square root of x is positive the square root of x all squared. So I'm going to get x plus 24 equals 144. These two middle terms are like terms. Negative 12 added to negative 12 is negative 24 times the square root of x. Plus, what do I get when I take the square root of x and square it? You just get left with x. So now I've completed step two. And step three says if this equation still contains a radical, which it does, Repeat steps one and two. So step one says isolate the square root that I have left. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to subtract 144 from both sides. And I'm also going to have to subtract x from both sides. So x minus x is zero. 24 minus 144 is negative 120 equals 144 minus 144 cancel each other out. I get negative 24, the square root of x, and x minus x is 0. To isolate my square root of x, I'm going to have to divide both sides by negative 24, but I'm running out of room, so I'm going to go on to the next slide. And here's the equation that I landed up with at the bottom of my last slide. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 24. 
So I'm going to get the square root of x equals negative 120 divided by negative 24 is positive 5. I've isolated my square root. Now all I have to do is square both sides. So 5 squared is 25 equals the square root of x all squared is x. So I have found my solution. And I think it is x equals 25. But don't forget, this is a radical equation. You must check for extraneous solutions. So let me check my answer. That means I plug 25 into the original equation. So I'm going to get the square root of x, which is 25, plus 24 plus the square root of x, the square root of 25, does it equal 12? Well, 25 plus 24 is 49. So I get the square root of 49 plus the square root of 25 is 5. Does it equal 12? Well, what's the square root of 49? 7. So does 7 plus 5 equal 12? Looking good. 12 equals 12. That is correct. So what is the solution to my equation? The solution is x equals 25. So this radical equation has one solution.